Welcome to The Social Impact. I'm Keenan Williams and in this podcast I explore the difficulty in finding forgiveness. I also venture into a practical way of finding light in a world of darkness and peace in a soul once shaken by hurt. Welcome to The Social Impact. Forgiveness. It is something I can easily harp on and say that we should be doing it. However, I cannot imagine the hurt felt by a mother who had lost her son in a car accident because of a drunken driver. Neither can I imagine the pain felt by someone who had been raped, abused or assaulted. How can I say that we should forgive? According to a quick Google search, forgiveness is described as granting pardon, absolution, indulgence, tolerance, clemency, mercy, pity and understanding. So how can I honestly find it within myself to forgive, grant pardon and absolution to someone who had done me wrong? There is a story of Anita Smith and her husband Ronnie who had uh, moved to Libya because they saw the suffering of the Libyan people but they also saw hope and wanted to build a better future for that country. In 2013 it uh, all ended during Ronnie's morning jog when he was shot and killed by an unknown gunman. In Anita's letter she addressed her husband's attackers saying I love you and forgive you. How could I not? For Jesus taught us to love our enemies, not to kill them or seek revenge. Another story takes us back to 2007. It was a cold winter's night when the car holding Chris Williams and his family was hit by a 17-year-old drunken driver. Immediately, Chris checked on his children in the back seat and quickly realized his 11-year-old son and 9-year-old daughter had died. Then he watched his pregnant wife sitting next to him exhale for the last time. However, before he had even been rescued from his car, Williams told reporters that whoever done this to us, I forgive them. I don't care what the circumstances were, I forgive them. He proved as good as his word going on to publicly forgive his family's killer and developing a personal relationship with him and his family. Today, Williams is a motivational speaker, uh, sharing his incredible story of healing and forgiveness and uh, inspiring others to extend mercy and forgiveness as well. Now, it is easy for me to come up with these stories and scenarios of why I believe forgiveness is important. However, I had not, thank God, gone through any of the torment many others are burdened with each and every day of their lives. Many people commit suicide because of the hurt caused by another, while many others end up with deep depression for much of their lives. So, is forgiveness as unattainable as world peace? Well, forgiveness, I believe, is like love, peace and happiness all at once. It is something that we need to work on and work toward. It is not easy. I sympathize with those people who are tormented by their pain each and every second of each day. And even though I try to empathize with them, I can't. Uh, well, I cannot. I can't imagine that pain. I can't imagine if such atrocities were to happen to me. Would my mindset on forgiveness change? It probably will. But the understanding of forgiveness is deeper than what the outset of it is. Forgiving someone is not telling them that you are fine with what had happened. Neither is it forgiving or forgetting your pain. Rather, it is you letting go, letting go of that hurt in order to move forward and to live your life. It isn't easy to forgive and it is even more difficult to forget, but it is all a process and a process which we all need to work through in order to move forward. Don't remain imprisoned in the hurt and suffering someone else had inflicted on you and as quick as the Google search said and it revealed to us that we should be granting pardon and absolution, be tolerant and grant them mercy, pity them for they 
know and knew not what they were doing and perhaps we will reach a point of understanding that the hurt which we experience exists within in them as well sometimes forgiveness is an act of love which releases us from the pain but in turn releases the person down on their knees begging for pardon from the hurt they too are going through Thank you.